Just when you thought the duel left you speechless, awe-inspired, and craving for more, Star Wars just had to drop the book Ronin. So if you're thinking about whether or not you want to buy this book, this is definitely the video for you. This is of course spoiler free, so rest assured. The book Ronin is a continuation of what we see in the Star Wars Visions episode, The Duel. The book continues to feature the Ronin as the main character. In the first few pages of the book, the story recounts what happened in the Visions episode. The Ronin arrives at the village, encounters the bandits, and the duel ensues. The beginning of the book acts very much like a refresher course and gets you up to speed in case you forgot anything. What's really amazing about the book is that it's able to continue forward the striking visual style of the episode episode despite being in a written format. As you read, readers will notice a distinct absence in the description of colors, except when it comes to lightsabers and a few other exceptions. Even in its description of the Force, the book stays true to the art style and even takes it a step further, with its visual depiction of the Force as shapes of black and white. This is a very clever and deliberate choice that subtly reminds the reader that we are still of course within the universe where the duel took place. While the early beginnings of the book are familiar, the rest of the story becomes a massive ball of twists and turns. The writing style of this book is so wholly unique and incredibly bold. It's a deeply reflective tale of regret, suffering, and pain. Unlike the usual Star Wars tales that tend to lean a little more towards the light-hearted side, Ronin delves deeply into the dark and the various shades of grey, very much mirroring its own art style. Ronin's journey is a very surprising one, there is a constant air of mystery, and there are plenty of questions to go around even after the end. The reader is introduced to a whole host of compelling characters with individual ambitions and characteristics, but the book doesn't fully let on on who they are. Just when you think you've come to understand a certain character, the book turns around and slaps you in the face to remind you that you really don't know them. What's truly amazing about this book is that it has the unenviable job of introducing to Star Wars fans a new universe that is both familiar and unfamiliar. While the onset of the Visions episode appears to be a very localized event, the book brings the stakes to a galactic level with numerous factions of power and individuals all with their own ambitions in mind. The universe that we are given has echoes of the canon Star Wars universe. There is an Empire, Jedi, and Sith. But that is about where the similarity ends. It's not accurate to say that the traditional roles of each faction have been switched, yet neither is it entirely inaccurate. The book does a tremendous job in inspiring and drawing the reader into the life that is the Ronin universe. While certain elements remain the same, there is a very distinctive feel to the story that very much crosses the line of mysticism and magic. The story draws plenty of inspiration from feudal Japan, and perhaps even deeper inspiration from Japanese mythology. The story is able to strike a very fine balance between fleshing out the world and an exposition dump, and this is done expertly by weaving the history of the galaxy to the Ronin's own personal journey. The book constructs a universe that is incredibly well thought out and will leave readers wanting more from the Ronin or this universe itself. An issue that I do take is that it can be confusing and convoluted at times. While the writing style brings a rich poetry and sophistication in its descriptive language of characters and their inner feelings, it can leave the reader slightly confused as to what it is trying to say. While the book details the Ronin's physical journey, it's more about his spiritual journey that is of main importance. While the book mostly does a fantastic job of mapping out his character's development, it does lose the reader at times. This is especially the case when it comes to the other supporting characters as well. But that being said, it's still an amazing book and dare I say one that rivals the rich complexity of the canon universe. The deep Japanese influences in this book does a great credit in defining its uniqueness, while providing depth to its histories. But readers should be warned that this is not an easy read. If you are only interested in quick, fun, and action-packed stories, then this might not be your cup of tea. It will most appeal to readers interested in a deeply reflective story about regret, failure, and legacy. As the Ronin journeys through this book, there is pain etched within every single line. Pain derived from the Ronin's own personal journey, that of others, and that from the scars the galaxy has suffered as a whole. Much like the art style itself, readers can expect the blinding dark and light, as well as the shades of grey in between. 
That's all for today's review of the Ronin, I definitely recommend this book to anyone who wants more from what they saw in the Visions episode, and are interested in an alternate Star Wars universe that deals with some pretty heavy themes, so if that's what you're into, I definitely encourage you to give this book a go. As always, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know about your thoughts. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I am The Lost Acolyte, and I have spoken.